If this is your first time playing Octopath Traveler COTC, I'm Yazwoho with The Gamer, and here are 7 beginner tips and things you should look out for to make the start a bit easier. If the amount of characters you can have in a party is a bit daunting, there's an easy principle to follow. There are 8 different classes in COTC, each wielding a specific weapon. Merchants are equipped with spears, apothecaries wield axes, dancers have fans, etc etc. Enemies are weak to certain weapons and spells, so if you want every battle to be as fast as possible, try to have one of each class in your party to cover all enemy weaknesses. Speaking of weaknesses, this little shield icon next to enemies is really important. Whenever you strike an enemy with their weakness as many times indicated on their shield, they will be broken. Your phone does a little vibration and the enemy cannot do anything for the next turn and will take more damage from all attacks. So how do you maximize the damage you deal? That's where the orbs above your characters come in. This is the boost mechanic. At the start of every turn, your characters get one boost, and by boost you power up a character's next move. For example, if you boost a character's normal attack, they will hit more than once. So, maximizing damage comes when all your characters have boost orbs and the enemy is broken, allowing you to use all of the boosts to empower their next attacks and deal a lot of damage. As told in the game's tutorial, the driving forces behind COTC's story are wealth, power, and fame. Progressing through the game increases your influence over these forces. Increasing their ranks will grant you small bonuses to your party stats and rubies, the currency you spend to get new characters. It's important to rank up your influence as you become slightly stronger with the traveler skills you obtain, such as an increase to the EXP gained after a battle. There are multiple ways to increase your influence recruiting new party members, finishing story quests, and upgrading the skill board of characters. NPCs are also affected by the influence system. When talking to strangers, you have the option to do one of three things. Purchase, contend, or entreat. These are called path actions. Doing these allow you to acquire materials you can sell, exclusive equipment, or nuts for leveling characters up. Success of certain path actions depends on your influence rank, while some interactions require a higher influence to begin with. In short, remember to talk to all of the NPCs you meet, and continue to increase your influence to get all of the help you can get. Experience nuts are not the only shortcut for leveling up. If you're lucky, you may fight a Kate, rare enemies that will grant high amounts of experience and leaves when defeated. However, they're tanky and may run away. Thankfully, there are also stationary Kates that can be battled once a day in the overworld that also won't flee. Upon starting the game, you randomly obtain one of 8 5-star characters during the tutorial, and upon completing the tutorial, you get rubies to roll at least 10 times. If you want a stronger head start, you can re-roll your account for a stronger character. Check out our re-roll guide in the description to learn how. That being said, re-rolling can be tedious, so only do it if you want to control as much of the start as you can, and you're willing to repeat the tutorial over and over. Octopath Traveler COTC is a single player RPG with no time limited events. As a result, most of the content added to the game is permanent and can be played at your own pace. Take your time and explore the world of Orstera, leaving behind the fear of missing out and just enjoy the game. For more COTC guides and tips, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching.